Hello everyone, and welcome to another Gay Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Okay, we need to leave the Citadel because we want to get back onto the Nor to the Normandy. Because guess what? <laughs> At long last, which you all, I'm sure, have been waiting for up to this point, is checking out the Quarians. I know all of you were waiting for this. I mean, I, I at least have been waiting for it, but kept getting sidetracked. But I think, I think, I think, I think we are ready to actually take on this main quest. I believe it's a main quest. Far out here in the far rim, where the Quarians apparently are hiding or preparing. Behold, the Quarian Envoy ship. It'd be great to check out what's going on with the Quarians. And I'm wondering what they decided to do with the Geth. Because in Mass Effect 2, my Shepard, I think, voiced some of his opinions on what he thought the Geth sh the, I'm, I'm sorry, what he thought the Quarian should do. I don't quite remember what I said to them, but we will see if it gets brought up. Hopefully it does, because I'd like to remember <laughs> what I exactly I told them. Alright, Quarian Envoy Ship. This diplomatic frigate is like no Quarian ship on record. Huh. Its hull is relatively low temperature, and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Quarians develop this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open, and welcoming messages are being type-beamed to the Normandy. Aha! Uh -huh. I wonder if Tally has anything to do with that. It would be great to see Tally. Commander Shepard. Oh. A pleasure to see you again. Admiral Ron. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world. Great. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Oh boy, it's Quarian Morrigan from Dragon Age, if you play Dragon Age. The same voice actress. I kind of already know about their history, but I'm just going to click this anyway. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago. We lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. Oh, wow. The Quarians were wrong, or I agree. See, okay, here's my problem. The Quarians versus the Geth. For those of you who are not aware, I'm trying to give a little bit of background information for the people who never actually played any of the Mass Effect series. Um... But for those of you who do not know, these Quarians invented this essentially race of synthetic beings, these droids or robots called the Geth. And they invented them because they, just like I guess we do in real life, needed them you know, to do tasks that were either too dangerous, too tedious, or too difficult for organics, I guess, organic sentient life. Um, you know, just to make just to make things easier for them. And the problem is, the got the Geth themselves became so advanced over time. Their AI became so advanced that they essentially became sentient. And if they became sentient, there are arguments saying that what the Quarians were doing to them could essentially be considered a form of slavery. Um, and that makes that really makes me think because you know this is something that could very well happen in real life. I mean, eventually, I think technology is going to get in so advanced that we might be able to create artificial intelligence that pretty much thinks and thinks just like humans do. And at that point, do they then deserve the same rights as humans? I mean, that's just a completely different debate in and of itself. 
but I what I have a problem is is make is the Quarians don't necessarily feel that they are at all at fault in anything. Um, I mean that might not be true, but I think they should not consider themselves the only victims here. Maybe is what I should say, because the Geth were victims too. I don't think that either of them are necessarily the strictly the bad guys or the good guys per se. You know, I believe that if the situation were reversed, if the Quarians were a race invented by the Geth and the Quarians, you know, realized one day that they didn't deserve to be put to work against their will, I bet you that the Quarians would have done the exact same thing. So, yeah, I didn't mean to get into a very, very lengthy conversation about that, but I'm challenging... I don't like either of these answers because I don't think that either of them were completely wrong. I think both of them have share a fault. Um, but you know what? I'm going to challenge them. I think this, this shepherd is trying to look at it from the Geth's point of view. And the Quarians clearly respect Shepard, so hopefully they will be... Hopefully that with, with Shepard saying that, they'll at least hear him out. Because I think they need to hear this from him. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Yeah. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. Y exactly my point. So you admit that you guys might be wrong. Huh. Admitting we were wrong would under the justification of the suicide. I think invading was a mistake. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geral. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. I think I might know who that is. Yep. Tali Zora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Vas Normandy. Glad you could make it, Tali. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Good to see you, Tally. Admiral. It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I want to help. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. Awesome. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Understood. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. 
So, con consider me an idealist, but I always... I've been hoping that there would be a way to find peace between the Geth and the Quarians once and for all. You know, find an understanding. Um, and that's just me. I always would like to think that there would, would be some middle ground between the two, because again, I don't think either of them are... They're both victims, and neither of them are... Um, none of them... Neither of them can be considered faultless. So... We'll see. We'll see what happens. If I, and if I have to make a choice between the two, if it turns into an ultimatum, whether or not I side with the Corins or side with the Geth, I will cr jump off that bridge when I get to it. So, there's the Dreadnought. Um, actually, is Tally? Let me see if I can. Is Tally's on my ship? Can I? Can I talk to her real quick? Oh yeah. Tally and Admiral Ron are both in the, uh, war room. Um, you know what? I feel like people might have something to say about the Quarians being here, so... Commander? Or I could be totally wrong. Nope. At the very least, I know I can talk to Tally and the General. Oh, but I need to say before I talk to Joker. Because I am going to talk to Joker. Hey, jokes. Commander. Hello, Shepard. Alright. In that case, forget talking to anyone else except for Tali and the General. Do 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 do. Commander Shepard. I just saw The Hunger Games for the second time. It released last night. So excited. I actually dressed up for the midnight showing. Why can I not go through? As Seneca Crane, because of that ridiculously awesome beard of his. So, that's awesome if you ever read any of the books. Very good series. At least the first book. I actually liked all three, but most people seem to like number one and say stop after the first one. But anyway, sorry to go off on another tangent. But anyway, that dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed radar pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. Great. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. Can you join me? When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. That, that's fine. That's fine. And last but not least, the big question. I wanted to ask about Legion. So what about Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. Huh. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. That's...
too bad, because I think, you know, trying to negotiate with Legion is a perfect idea. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. All right. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Oh, okay, sure, we can do that. Hey, Admiral Ron. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the Dreadnought. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ship's captains still have power. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Hmm. Dally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. I want to say that's smart. Use what you've got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Hmm. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. Cool. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. Fair enough. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Certainly, Admiral. All right. Tally said if we wanted to talk... Uh, Without any issues, we should go Shepherd. up to my cabin. And to my cabin we shall, before we go take care of this Geth business. But I think it'd be really cool if we can get the Geth on our side, as well as the Quarians. Just like we got the Krogan and the Torians and the Salarians on our side, essentially. Come on up, Tally. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Hey, Tals. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me... If... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought 
you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just... I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. Yeah, I'm flattered. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Alright. Energy drain unlocked in medical bay. So I think I figured out what this bonus power thingy is. Um, I think it's similar to the bonus powers that you got in Mass Effect 2 where you could actually gain the abilities of one of your squad mates that Shepard would not normally have access to. And I did... Now that I have Tali, it looks like I could get Shield Drain, which would essentially allow me to um, attack shields, which would be very useful, so I don't have to always rely on my other squad mates' as overload or things like that. So... Is that on here? Slam, Armor Piercing, Fortification Defense, Warp, Inferno, Energy, Marksman, Carnage. I think, hold on, let me check something real quick. Huh. Warp, throw, shockwave, singularity, pull, cluster grenade, biotic, mastery, fitness. Where is shield drain? Carnage, marksman, energy drain. Maybe it's energy drain. That might be it. And I notice I have the discount too. And steel barrier and shield power. Oh, nice. That's actually pretty nice. I think. Incendiary, more damage to raise an armor, slow down. Slow down power use, more up and damage armor, slam. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with energy drain. Hit enemy with this energy pulse to inflict damage and to steal barrier and shield power. Yeah. If I if that is what I think it does, then yeah, I have energy drain. Cool. Um. All right. Increase that by thirty percent. Increase radius by one hundred percent. Ah, increase damage. No, I can't yet. I have to wait. All right, fair enough, fair enough. And do I still, if I wanted to reassign powers, can I do that for free? Yeah, I can. But I'll, I'll wait till later. Okay. So, yay extra powers. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Captain's cabin. No, I don't want Captain Cam. I want the CIC. What am I doing? We gotta, we gotta check out what's going on with some Geth. Let me just save again. Really quickly. Yes, I want to overwrite. Okay. Let's plot. And we want to go to... Disable the dreadnoughts, and there's nothing else. Persuade each other there wasn't any other side quest, but we're gonna go here anyway, even if there was a side quest. Run out. Reveal an intimidating array of features from an unimproved, from an improved main gun and ultraviolet anti-ship lasers to increase thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands the rest, wages, or autonomy, and in the creation of their flagship, they were limited only by time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Corian fleet appears minor at best. Let's dock. 
I'm assuming we have to take Tally by default. I'm just assuming that we don't have a choice in the matter. Yes, I figured. Cool. Huh. Kind of like the black and yellow. I think the black and yellow looks pretty cool in Tally. And... If we're going to be dealing with Geth, I actually think it would make the most sense to bring Edie with us. Yeah, I think it makes perfect sense. Alright, let's equip Tally. Tally Zora. Recharge speed, bonus, health and shield. Recharge speed, I want Tally's goodies to pop up more often. Tech power damage, tech power duration, definitely. Recharge speed of squad mates tech powers. Recharge speed of drones powers. Oh. Kind of like this. My shepherd doesn't have tech powers, so I wouldn't be able to benefit that as much, so that's kind of why I, I thought. And I might be using my drones more, so... I want to check out the defense drone because it's completely new. Um, especially since we took that bonus specifically for drones, you might as well power this one up. Increase attack range by 40%, increase duration by 100%. Uh, let's increase... Yeah, attack range. Increase zone's attack rate by 50%, increase damage, increase attack range by 60%. Wow. Um, let's do attack rate. I want, it to, I want this to be pretty fast. 30% chance to knock down an electrocuted enemy. Gain up to two additional nearby targets. Damage up to two additional nearby targets. Chain lightning. Nah, it's ch I like the chance to knock down an electrocuted enemy. That's, that sounds cool. And then... Um, 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 sabotage. Um, can I do two drones at the same time? I'm not sure. Let me let me focus on a little bit of this at, at least, and then explodes when destroyed, dealing two hundred points of damage across a five meter radius. Increase drones shields by forty percent. Um, I like that because if if you if it gets destroyed, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be near anything. So I think this is much better for me. Upgrades drone drone short range attack to deal two forty points of damage across a two point five meter radius. Uh, drone stuns enemies for a short duration. Damage increase drone shields. Nah, I like this. Upgrade drone with a long range rockets that deal three sixty points of damage across one point five. Ooh, rockets. Upgrade zones. Drones electric pulse to jump and hit three additional targets. I like the rockets, but I can't do the rockets yet. That's fine. Alright, I think we're good. Tally is souped up. And we are gonna go to this Geth party, I guess. 